Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at installing Wine on Debian in 2024. But before we proceed any further, I would like to thank my channel members. These are people that help support me and get early access to videos such as this one right here. And they are Mislav and Alex Exists. Now, let's get into the video. So, here we have a entirely raw system it's only got neofetch and the bare basics installed uh we are running the 6.1 kernel and we're just running this is a virtual machine yes this is virtual as you can tell by the fact this is this says red hat as well as the fact that my 5950x does not have eight cores it has 32. but in this case i uh, what we want to do is do a quick update so sudo amp update uh, so this is having issues because this virtual machine was made whilst I was still in the UK. So it's just having some issues communicating with uh, the UK Debian server. I have no idea why, but I've tried fixing it. It doesn't want to work. Now, we also need to make sure we have Git installed. Now, you're probably wondering why do we need Git? Because we need to clone a, a couple of repositories. So first things first, we need to do sudo apt install git. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that uh, git is still not installed as standard with Debian. Uh, that really needs to be fixed because that's just, that's just surprising. So now that we've got that installed, we need to go to the desktop. Well, we don't have to go to the desktop, but in this case, I wish to come to the desktop. And now we're going to clone one of a few repositories. Now, uh, I'm just going to quickly show off the repositories. Yes, this is the first time I'm opening it. So, github.com slash. Now, uh, what we're doing here is getting blinded by GitHub. Thank you very kindly. Uh, looking at the wine repositories I have. Now, we have a choice. We can install a older legacy version of wine, a current but stable version of wine, or a... Or a uh, a staging or development version. In this case, we just want to install a stable version of Wine. Now, to do that, we do uh, git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash nick matthews dash one slash wine wine stable. Now, this will be in the description. A link to this will be in the description so you can have a look at it. Now, we've got that downloaded. We can have a look at this so let's make this look a bit bigger now for this we have uh i'll just go through them this is for wine 8 debian 12 so i need to get this removed because that shouldn't still be there uh wine 9 debian 12 wine 9 debian testing wine 9 ubuntu 20 22 1 22 stable 2304 and 2310 so this is the long-term support version of ubuntu 23 this is not long term long-term support version of ubuntu 23 now before we go any further i will show you what is actually inside this file so you you can see and have peace of mind and I will just do quickly do it with uh, cat one nine Debian. So, what's here is uh, that's the hash brown. Uh, this enables the thirty-two bit architecture, and, and it does that with just going add architecture i three eight six. So that's thirty-two bit. Uh, this makes the makes the directory uh, etc apt keyrings with the permissions of seven five five. And this also then grabs the key for it. Uh, what this here does is it uh, grabs the source file for uh, this version. And then updates the system, upgrades it, and then installs it using this. And of course, that's pretty much it. So before we, before we go any further, we need to change the modifier for... Change the modifier plus x for uh, y9. Uh, Debian 12, double sh, and then do sudo. The reason why we do sudo is because it has some sudo requesting permissions at the uh, top of the file. So sudo dot slash uh, wine, and then just hit tab because this is the only file that has executable permissions. Doing w and then tab will just go through. 
now as we can see here what this has done is it's grabbed the key it's, it's grabbed it in 400 4 thousandths of, of a second uh, it's moved it into the correct place it downloaded it instantly because that's 200 okay which is good and then what it's done is it's downloaded it so fast that it doesn't even have a measure of how fast it was which is pretty good uh, what this has done is it's just ignore the things it couldn't grab i uh, couldn't resolve uh that and that's fine and uh, what this is going through is unable to correct problems you have held broken packages depends on wine stable for bookworm so here is where we quickly uh just check so bookworm bookworm dot sources so sudo apt install wine So now that we've done that, even though what we're doing here is the exact same thing we have just done with the install script, uh, it doesn't like it. So what it's saying is we'll install um, Wine, GCC, uh, Lib, GPG. So what this is doing is it's installing stuff that I don't already have installed. Now, this may be a case of because I've never done anything with this operating system. It's not exactly sure what to do. Now, what we can see here, this is a repack. So if we do wine hyphen hyphen version, this is only showing wine version eight. It looks like I'm missing 32 bits. So what we can do is apt get install wine 32 i386, i386. Could not do that because there we go so again it's grabbing the 32-bit version these new packages will be installed now because i have yet to actually install or use anything with this operating system it is going through the motions of downloading and installing everything that it might need now depending on your internet connection it could take as long as it is here i'm currently downloading it through mega 3.9 megabytes per second or if you're living somewhere where you've got better internet connection uh you'll be downloading significantly faster so what we will do whilst we wait is we'll just hurry up and wait okay so what this is now doing is it's just going through and getting packages unpacked and installed and why is it removing things? Shot well, I don't remember asking for that. So it's just going through, sorting out packages. There's some here that I recognize, libxcb. I recognize that from uh, Linux from scratch. Uh, but some of these you might recognize they're used widely across Linux uh, installs. But now that we've got this, if we just do wine hyphen hyphen version again, what we can see is that we have a wine 8 and it's a repack for debian as the repack for but if we just do a quick near fetch we can, we're running wine 12 so why can't we have that so now that we've got everything we might need installed we can now do sudo dot slash wine now tell it hey look i want the wine version 9 now wine version 9 recently came out and so it's just grabbing it now depends on wine stable now this is a issue with uh, various versions so what we'll do is instead of trying to install the wine stable uh, is we are going to install the development version of wine so to do that we need to leave this directory and do git clone uh, https com slash slash github.com slash matthews dash one slash wine leading edge so this is just the more up-to-date versions and the versions that are used for development as well as the staging of wine now because we have just come across to uh wine version 9 uh the there is nothing more than just wine uh version 9 point somewhat but this we do indeed have wine stable uh why it's going hey look wine stable is not here is beyond me 
So all we need to do now is just hurry up and wait for it to download. Okay, so now that it's finished with downloading, what we want to do is uh, enter the repository. So we do that with CD Wine Bleeding Edge and have a look in here. Now, uh, what we can see here is we have uh, the Wine Debian Testing Devel staging. So what we want to do is we just want to grab the development version. So to do that, we do change the modifiers, uh, give it the executable with Wine 9. Debian 12 devil and then do sudo dot slash w9 tab enter now what this should do is it should now that we've told it that we were telling it the correct version the first time around oh joy so whilst this is the correct version So, so as we can see, uh, wine development does indeed exist. So, what we will do is uh, sudo apt install wine develop. Ha. <sighs> sudo sudo apt search uh, lib sane one sudo apt install lib sane one so this is the uh, hoops you have to jump through to be able to install development versions so we now go hey look wine develop uh, sudo apt install lib curl 3 gnu t uh, ls it's already installed but that's the thing we already have installed now this is we do have wine installed as we can see here with the uh, winehq.org slash builds so it is actually installed if we do wine hyphen hyphen version we have wine 8 now attempting to install wine 9 appears to not work so unfortunately we aren't installing anything higher than wine 8 but we do have it installed so if we were to now attempt to oh i don't know uh google chrome exe oh i tell you what um angry ip scanner we will grab ourselves the angry IP scanner and wait for this to finish loading and we'll just grab grab the Windows version, grab the standalone, grab the executable, open this. And what we're going to do is right click, open with other application. And then we should. We both know for a fact that wine is installed. So. Hmm. That's fun. Uh, properties, permissions, allow executing as a file, close, open with other application. Ah, the fun, with, the fun of Debian. So, what we're going to quickly do is just go CD, CD downloads, and then wine. And as we can see, uh, no, it is running. As Angry IP is kind of relies on Java, uh, so it does work. However, it's not going to. Uh, let's just grab the uh, older version that doesn't hopefully doesn't require Java, uh, because I'm not installing Java. That's going to take uh, more time than I'm willing to sacrifice. So, open the other application. As we can see, it's not there, even though it is installed. And then wine, IP scan, and here we go. Angry IP scanner. It's a, it's whilst yes, there is indeed in fact a 
a Linux version. Uh, there's a dev, RPM, devs, and just executable jails. Uh, but in this case, here is Angry IP Scanner, and it will function because we're going to just go hey start and just go through everything. But it does work. We do have uh, any information, and we can just come here and just go go away. And we're done. Uh, if you like this video, uh, maybe consider hitting the like button. If you just like to hit the dislike, they both seem to work. I hope you enjoyed the errors that I also uh, came across as well, because I follow the philosophy of if I have the errors, you might have them as well, so let's work it out together. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.